Good morning, everybody. My name is Cameron, and welcome back to a very special episode of Chicory, A Colorful Tale. It's a very special episode because it's a Tuesday, and everybody knows that Tuesday is for the boys. We've pretty much almost gotten to the end of this adventure here. I decided to look a little farther forward, and it seems that the only thing that remains after this part is the final boss unleashing the pure and utter wrath of the brush. And then an epilogue. So I'm looking forward to uh, bringing this all home today. Hello, everyone. Who wrote that? Me. It was me. Who else would it be? Who, el who else would draw on the screen? It's me. I got an extension a while ago called Heat, where like people can like touch the screen and stuff like that. But I turned it off because it seemed like the little red dot on my it was like a little creepy, honestly. Um, yeah. Anyway, we're continuing all of it. Those brush flowers you planted. What about them? Tell me more, Shikari. That's where they'll stay now, forever. Ellipses. This is it, Sushi Mac. You've completed all the wielder trials. Okay, yeah, I powered up. I my bond with the brush has been increased again. So let's press the A button and see where that brings us. You now have full control of the brush. All of your paint abilities are stronger. Cool. Well, like, how much control did I not have before? I have at least one more paintbrush over here. Now I have full control of the brush. Now, instead of just being able to, like, eh, now I can do, like, eh, and then the brush is lost forever. You can even swim up waterfalls. Oh, see, that's, that's convenient now. See, I, f I figured that was something I wasn't able to do before. You're finally strong enough to face the corruption at the top of the Wielder Tower. How do you feel? Sure. Ellipses. I'm proud of you, Sushi Mac. All these corruptions should have been my problem alone. And facing them all made me want to give up. But you stood up to everything. I'm so glad you were here. I really don't deserve you. But I'll be there to cheer for you. When you're ready. Come meet me in luncheon. Time to go to luncheon. But look at all these beautiful flowers that definitely look only like paintbrushes. And nothing else. I just noticed there's a little, uh, a little, uh, there's a little up over here. A little up dog over here. <laughs> what's up, dog? <laughs> I don't know. What's up with you? <laughs> oh, jeez. Can I not jump into the... Yeah, I, I can jump into the water. What am I doing? What am I doing? Of course I can jump into the water. I'm pretty sure this is one of the, uh... This might be, like, the Song of the Wielder or something like that. Seems like it would be. Um... How do I get out of here? I wanna get out of here. I gotta... I gotta leave! I gotta get out of here! Oh, here we go. There we go! I can bounce back up onto the surface over here, and then... Whoop! Find my way back to lunch eventually. I don't know. I like the music here! Sounds really cool. <laughs> Excuse me. I had half a sandwich this morning, and I'm currently drinking some very spicy ginger tea. I woke up early this morning, as early as I usually do. Uh, usually as in, like, 90% of the time otherwise. I mean, I did wake up at, like, uh, like, 12, 12 o'clock yesterday. But that's because I was tired, yo. We can rest sometimes. Hey, everybody. What's going on? I'm up here now? Oh, is that a thing? Oh, whatever. Hi, Kiwi. It's you, the one who loves music. They say you're fighting on our behalf. What an inspiration. I'm just a bard. But I figured I could at least rouse you with a song. Yeah. That was the song I made. Are you feeling roused yet? You could say I'm very roused. Not aroused, just roused. What's up, Lemon? Sushi Mac, thank, thank goodness you, you're here. Uh, is, is it true that you're gonna uh, f face the corruption? Uh, oh, I, I, I hope you can fix it. Uh, I, uh, I can't function like this anymore. I really can't function like this anymore either, Lemon, to be perfectly honest. The anxiety is getting to all of us. 
to, to be honest, when I when, when I heard you were coming, I I thought I'd bake something for you, but while I was taking it from the oven, I dropped it on the floor. I spotted a new tree limb growing straight in my kitchen, and, and I was like, yo, tree limb, can you, like, get out of there? Like, come on. It's not cool. I screamed. I literally screamed. <laughs> kind of like this. Ah! I don't scream very loud. And then I dropped everything on the floor. <laughs> like I said earlier, I dropped it on the floor. I'm really sorry. I'm so grateful to have a wielder who will help us. Like, uh, th thank you so much, Sushi Mac. And, and uh, th don't die, okay? Words of encouragement. Words of encouragement. What's up, Brussels Sprout? What do you have to say? I didn't know being the wielder could be so scary. And I, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> I, I just really like drawing. I thought for a second, I thought you said, I just really like drowning. Like, Excuse me? You're not a fish? I hope you don't mess up and, like, cause us all to die or something, or anything like that. That'd be pretty bad. That'd be pretty freaking bad now, wouldn't it be? I'm rooting for you! You're my hero, Sushi Mac! Yes, I am. Marching up to fight the giant corruption! It's so dreamy! You literally couldn't be any cooler! <sighs> I love how you just kind of sit there, and, like, that's just... That's your thing. It's just like... I love you. I love you too. I love you too, random citizen. Things are getting all kinds of crazy around here. Everybody's gathered to give me words of wisdom and then the other wielders, they'll probably like... You know, what if little Turnip was a wielder? What if? What if Turnip was a wielder? Maybe Turnip could be the next wielder. It's you! The wielder! You're, you're really doing it? You're going in there? I don't even know what to say. I can't believe you got to meet someone so brave. You're such a cool wielder. I want to be brave like you someday. And maybe even hold the brush myself. But I'm really small. So I don't know if that's possible. We'll see. Maybe. What about you, Cardamom? Tell, tell me more. Tell me more. Well, wow. It got so scary here. I can't believe you're really going in to fight it. You're very brave, Sushimak. I was never such a good wielder. <laughs> Hope it goes okay. Blackberry, do you have any last words for somebody who's about to completely and utterly die? That's that's me. I'll completely and utterly die. Sushi Mac, I know Chicory's trained you all she can, so I'm placing my trust in the two of you. Please annihilate this corruption. We're all counting on you. Honestly, I couldn't have I couldn't have expected anything worse or anything better from. Blackberry on a day like today. Chicory, it's time. The end is just up ahead. All those trials, all our preparation. It's all come down to this. Tonight, Tuesday morning. Be there or be square. So, you feel ready? So ready! Bring it on, giant scary corruption! Well, uh, before you go, we've got to talk about what's going to happen after. But given it a lot of thought, and I think we should destroy the brush. The brush connects with the worst parts of us and makes them real. It lets us make beautiful things. But it's also carrying the darkness of every past wielder. And at this point, it's a threat to everyone in Pikminic. That thing is evil. And destroying it is the right thing to do. What do you think? Uh, I, I personally don't know if we should, like, destroy the brush that's been passed down from generation to generation. Although I'm not really the conservative type. I like change. Change is a really good thing. But maybe we do need to move on. But the world... Well, the world won't lose color because we have science to bring the color back. Um, but it's been around so long, I don't really subscribe to that philosophy. This fight could fix it. I'm, I'm the hopeful type. This fight could fix it. Every single wielder has fought corruptions, but it still has our imprints in it. If fighting back actually fixed it, then we wouldn't be in this situation. Maybe the problem will seem to go away for a bit, but then it'll come back. Probably even worse. That's why I wanted to bring this up now. It tricks us into thinking everything's okay. But it's the root of all the corruptions. 
and I bet the only way to get rid of them is to annihilate the source. Bet that if you destroy the brush, it just comes back. It's just not going to let you destroy it. Or maybe. What do you think? I, I guess I'm just going to have to go through all the dialogue options. Won't the world lose color? Like, nah, look, we got the science. Eventually, yeah. Everything would go black and white again. And there'd be no way to fill it back. I'm not stoked about that either. Uh, but if we keep it around, people will get really hurt because of it. We have to decide if it's worth the risk. Uh, to be fair, in this game so far, who has gotten hurt from the brush itself? I don't know yet. Aside from the pressure brought on by Beeling the Wielder, but is that a fault of the brush or is it a fault of the person? I, I don't really know. Whose fault is it? This is a game without blame. It's nobody's fault. Would it be so bad to stay black and white if it meant everyone was safe? That's a hot take. What do you think? I don't want it, but it's been around so long. Who cares about how long it's been around? It doesn't make it any less evil. It just means we've been more trained to accept it. Really hot take. Without questioning why. Screw that. That's not a way to make decisions. If it's hurting us, we should question why it's here. Very hot take. I agree. And it's not just that. After everything the brush has done to me, I want it gone. What do you think? I still don't think we should. It doesn't feel right. Even if it is dangerous, destroying it just couldn't be the right answer. Not long ago, I'd have agreed with you. I don't see any other way now. You should be careful. Don't let that thing inside your head. You've still got a battle to get through. Good luck, Sushi Mac. Actually, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Oh, uh, what is it? Um, never mind. I I'll ask you afterward. I should focus on the battle for now. No! <laughs> no, no, that's too frustrating. Sushi Mac, that means you better come back. I mean, I know you will. You've got this. Everyone came to lunch and to cheer for you. Did you see at least those seven people? I promise I'll make you proud! But seriously, you're gonna leave me hanging like that? What were you gonna ask? So sorry, it's just not a good time. Hmm. Well, you better not forget what it was. Well, I won't. I'll do my best up there. Thanks for all your help, Chicory. Sure. Okay. Good luck, Sushi Mac. I taught you everything I could. And you've come so far. We're so close to the end now. Just one last push. One last push. To the top of the tower. To the root of the corruption. Inside. Can I, like... Oh, I have to... Oh, look at that. I can get rid of dirty branches now. I honestly did not realize I could do that before I got up here. Otherwise, I definitely would have saved Lemon's window from, I guess, being already broken. Yeah, look at this. It's very... It's very black and white in here. Very gray. No color so far. To the root of the corruption. Long sip of tea, maybe. What's going on? It's very, it's very open in here. It's a very open tree. Very open tree. Uh, not very colorful. It's, uh, it's very dark in here. Oh, cutscene time. Um. Um. Hello? Mr. Obama? Is anybody out there? Somebody please help me. Mr. Obama, please. Please, Mr. Obama. I remember that video. Does anybody else remember that video? Those are the days. Why is it so big in here? I don't know, Sushi Mac. Why is it so big in here? Hmm. Is it really all that big? Can I go this way? It doesn't look like I can go this way. Oh, I can. Definitely. Am I just going to keep on... I'm getting Lost Woods vibes. <laughs> Ugh! I wish I wasn't so nervous. Everyone's counting on me. Especially Chicory. I need to rise up to this, but 
But I think I'm just going to wallow around in the darkness until I uh, finally come to terms with my uh, existence. I am walking slower. I was not walking this slow be before. Maybe this is like one of those virtual reality rooms. I haven't been walking around. I've been walking in one place this whole time and the room is moving around me. Excuse me. The morning time. Morning time kind of Hello? I'm moving even slower now. Why? Why am I still so nervous talking to Chicory? I, I should have said something. But... I guess I'm most worried about letting her down. She needs me to be ready for this. And I know the trials were supposed to make me a real wielder, but even after everything, I don't feel different at all. Maybe it's because you're not. Oh, uh, you're not real. No, I'm not, but it's still true. I've been afraid to ask her, but I need to know. Why did Chicory choose me to be the wielder? D did she really think, at the time, it was a good idea? You're asking her, Shadow? You already know the answer, don't you? She didn't. I, I know she really didn't. Everything happened by accident. I, I just got the brush because I happened to be there. Uh, part of me still hoped that... I really was special, and I just hadn't figured out how yet. But Sushi Mac, you are special. I know that's what she would really say. Uh, it feels just as real coming from you. Scoop up! Why? I thought I, all I ever wanted was for her to believe in me. Even if, even if she does, I still feel like a nobody. It's because there's nothing you can do, or anyone can say, to change what you really are. Oh, but what am I really? Am I really anything but a bunch of eyeballs in the darkness? Mm. It's a good thing my uh, self-doubt is never this physical with me. Oh my god, you grabbed the brush! The eyeball had grew teeth! You don't deserve this brush. Never have, never will. Don't you think it's time you gave it back? Oh my god, no, 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 give me the brush back. No, oh. The brush is being engulfed. Oh! Uh. Oh, you're awake. There's there's no way. <laughs> Did I just get spat back out? Sushi back, are you okay? I don't think so. Um, we aren't sure what happened. We found you outside the tower, passed out. You must have been through so much. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Can you walk? I don't I don't know if I want to walk. Clementine? Hug. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, Clementine. Are you going to be okay? I don't know. Hmm. I'm sorry, Sushi Mac. Maybe it was all too much. It's totally up to you what you want to do. Okay? If you want to stop now and let everyone else figure out what happens next, that's okay. You already gave so much. I, I love you, Sushi Mac. It's going to be okay. I'm just glad you're still here. Dad? Hey, kiddo. Uh, sorry about whatever happened. We all, we all mess up sometimes, you know? It's okay, though. Promise. Your mom and I still love you, no matter what. Believe me, your old man screwed up plenty of times. More times than I can remember. <laughs> That's it's just part of life, right? It's no big deal. Oh, good. I'm glad to see you could at least move, says Mom. Sushi Mac, we're all so worried for you. Um, and... Well... We don't know where the brush is. Do you? I think that's worrying everyone quite a bit, too. It's... Uh... It's okay, sweetie. 
you don't need to say right now if you don't want to. Take your time and rest here. But when you're ready, maybe you should go back to luncheon. Everyone's looking for the brush there. Including Chicory. It might be good to speak with her. Thanks. It's okay, Sushi Mac. Whatever happened, I know you did your best. We all know that. We've really been asking so much of you. Too much. Too much. I love you, Sushi Mac. No matter what. Okay? You don't have to talk to me now. But, but when you're ready, you can. M maybe some fresh air will be nice. Can I still look at the painting, though? Oh, it's beautiful. Want to save a gift? No, no, no. I don't, I don't need to save a gift of that. I already have a gift of that somewhere on my com computer. Man, this just got real old depresso over here. I'm walking very slowly. Where's my map at again? I don't have the brush no more. Ooh. Rough. Where's my map? There's my map. Where am I right now? Over here. To the right. Back to the place of luncheon. Can I take the transit bench? Can I actually? Oh. There's a note on the bench. It says, Due to seemingly apocalyptic circumstances, we have had to temporarily halt transit services. We hope to have renewed service soon. We apologize for the inconvenience. The picnic transit team. That makes sense. That makes sense. Everybody's trying to look for the brush right now. Everyone's a little enamored with, you know, the whole apocalyptic end of the world scenario going on right now. I mean, to be fair, the only apocalypse part about it is trees where trees never belonged. Which, I guess, were in people's windows. I guess trees were never really allowed. They, sh they should have never been in people's windows. Especially not breaking through them and causing people to, you know, drop down, drop all of their foodstuffs and fresh baked cooking. Oh, can't go that way because I can't go through the trees. Gotta go another way. What is the best way to get around? I guess this next part is we kind of... Oh, oh, hi, Lemon. Limon? Oh, su Sushi Mac. I thought I might find you here. Uh, everyone's looking for the brush, but, um, uh, well, I was just getting in the way, uh, so I came to check on you instead. Uh, you don't have a way back to luncheon, d do you? I, I can help. Uh, meet me one screen left and two down from here. All right, Limon. One screen to the left. Two screens down. Perhaps Lemon's got, like, secret wings. Are there any lizards with wings? Because if there are any lizards with wings, I really want to know about it. I know, like, some squirrels have wings. Like, squirrels, like, flying squirrels and whatnot. Was there a blacksmith down here? I don't think I've ever been down here before. Is this where Lemon lives? Lemon, are you, like, a blacksmith or something? Or is there somebody else in this house? Hello? Can I come in? It's locked. Oh. You made it. Uh, well, here it goes. Ugh. Oh, so you can swim. Oh, nice. I'm I'm fairly in I'm actually a fairly uh, adept swimmer. Uh, I I can take you across the river here, if you want. Yeah, no, this is this will definitely work. Here we here we go. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oh, this is so cute. Little paddle paddle across the river. It's a good thing this isn't like a rushing river or anything like that, or we all be dead. Shame that I didn't like color this part of the river before. Wow. Well, thanks for helping out, Lemon. Your service is duly appreciated. Very much appreciated indeed. Get up on the ledge and... Oh, you're not wet at all? You're not, like, dripping or anything. Hmm. You... You you can head up to here to get to luncheon. I, I hope I was helpful. Usually I just feel like an annoyance, but I really appreciate what you've done, Sushi Mac, and I, I think everyone does, and uh, we all know you did your best, and... Everyone was just hoping you'd come back all right. Well, I'll be here. Thank you, Lemon. I, I know it's never been easy for you, but the fact that you keep trying anyway inspires me. I want to learn how to do that, too. You will. You have the power, Lemon. I believe in you. Wielder Sushi Mac says to you, I'm not in a good headspace right now, but I believe in you. Vibe. What's a P? Hey! I came out here looking for the brush. Although, to be honest, I was pretty sure it wasn't actually here. I just wanted to get out of luncheon. It's pretty creepy, right? Pretty hacked up down there. <laughs> Are you going back in? Yowza, you do, I guess. <laughs> wow. Crazy. What's up, Pickle? Uh, hey. Uh, you doing all right? Uh, you don't look so good. 
Well, uh, nothing looks good about right about now. Uh, kind of feels like we might all die. <laughs> Lol. Uh, but, uh, sorry about whatever happens. Uh, we're just doing our best, you know? I, I hope things get better. I, I genuinely do. Ginger? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. We can't find the brush anywhere. Uh, there's such a strange lingering feeling, like something fundamental is broken. It's hard to describe. Well, you must be worried enough about us, as it is. Uh, we're here for you, Sushi Mac. Onward to luncheon. I know where the brush is. The brush is at the top of that tower, and it's all my fault. Oh, uh, can I still collect things from down here? Oh, definitely not. Macaroon? Oi! I've been cutting down all the little trees around here. Usually Beans takes care of the stuff like that, but uh, she's been busy lately with kid problems. Uh, not nice to finally get around luncheon. Easier, though, ain't it? Uh, we're all trying to do our part to help right now. Are you doing okay, Suzy Mac? Like, nobody's really sure what happened yet. We're all just trying to figure it out together. Don't push it. Brother. Don't push it, brother. Promise. What's up, Beans? Sushi Mac, we've been looking everywhere for you. Glad you're okay. At least, kinda. I, I tried to explain to the kids what's going on. I'm not sure if they all understood, but they're all rooting for you, too. And Pepper? Sushi Mac, are you all right? Everyone's been worried sick about you. Be careful, okay? You don't have to do anything crazy for us. I'll try not to. Can I say hello to the kids? I can say hello to the... Wow, it's a lot of kiddos there. Is there a baby skunk here, too? I can pet any of the cats I want. Oh, I can pat all the kitties that I want to. And they're all different colors because I never painted them all at the same time. That's awesome. Oh, pet the kitty. Good kitty. All right, well... Onward to the top of the tree. Oh, can't get through there. Wait, can I? No. Wait. How do I... Oh, I gotta cut down the trees. Is there a... Ah, ha, 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 I see. There's a little opening in the top left over here. I just gotta go up and around this way. And then everything will be okay. Hi, everybody. What's up, Pumpernickel? Everything is a village now. You'll fix it, right? Yeah. Nah. nah. I'm sorry, Sushi Mac. I just don't know what to do. But I suppose you don't either. You know, I can be a little much sometimes. I'm, s I'm sorry. Basil? Oh, it's such a relief to see you. Chicory's just ahead from here. She's been beside herself with worry. I can imagine so. Everyone's, like, really leaning into the whole, like, yeah, everyone feels really bad. Because we do feel really bad. There you are. After you went in there, we found you unconscious outside. No brush in sight. You really spooked us. Especially Chicory. We didn't know when you'd wake up. Or, if you would, your folks must have been so relieved. Indeed. Yo, this reminds me of that one Bo Burnham sketch. I'm like, yo, how is everybody? <laughs> I am not feeling good. And that's everybody in Chicory right now. Not feeling good. Especially Chicory and probably our main character. Have you seen our main character? Our main character hasn't opened his eyes the entire way this entire time or smiled. Very sad boy times. Hey. Hug. I'm so sorry. <laughs> These hugs are very long. These hugs are long and thoughtful. Which is good. We could all use some more warm hugs in this world. I'm so sorry, Chicory. I messed everything up. The brush. It's gone. There's no way to fix this anymore. It's okay. I mean, no, it's not. But I'm glad you're okay, at least. Can I ask you something? Back when you first gave me the brush, did you really think it was a good idea? Did you really choose me? No. I just wanted to be free of it. The pressure, I mean, but also the whole institution having to choose having to answer to the legacy of old dead artists having to do or be anything i needed to knock all that stuff down for myself so you resented that legacy did you choose me because i was a bad choice is, is that all i mean to you when when i said you could take the brush you were already holding it you had already taken it and colored and face the corruption 
and made it back. You were a living example that you don't have to be chosen to be capable. You showed me a possibility I hadn't considered, and you've only come farther since then. You shouldn't need to hear why you deserved it. You already proved it to yourself, like a million times. But maybe you're missing the most important thing. What's that? Actually wanting it. I know you wanted to do it for me, but was it something you wanted for yourself? I never even asked, just forced it onto you. So I'm asking now. Did you want the brush? I did. I really did. I really did. I've always wanted to make a mark on the world. I want to be someone great like that. But I never felt like I was ready. You were the first person to ever give me the chance. And I... I let it slip through my fingers. I feel so horrible. But, but I wanted it. Now that it's gone, it's like a part of me is missing. I can almost feel it. Like it's still there, right? I remember that. After being so connected to it, like I couldn't get rid of it completely. No, it... It really feels like it's still there. Like... Like I could just... Try drawing. Just one more time. I'm gonna draw one more time with the power of... Where's the paintbrush? The power of the paintbrush! Where'd the paintbrush go? Can I... Can I paintbrush? <gasps> try drawing. Try draw... Oh, grab the... I grabbed the brush. And then... <gasps> I'm growing a new brush. I knew the brush would come back. Hello, meatball girl. This is a very cute game. You're absolutely right. We're growing new brushes around here. Apparently. I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush with one hand and then joystick with the other. It's a very cute game until, um, if you get past all the mucho mucho depresso anxiety and other mental health issues that this game tackles with absolute confidence and vigor. Come on, more brush. Oh, look at it go. Oh, more, more brush. More brush. Oh, yeah. That's a big old brush. Do I just keep going? Fun? Fun. I'm still drawing. I'm still going. The tree is still getting bigger. Very, very fun. By the way, I'm not sure what you mean by extra snap. Did I accidentally snap you twice this morning? I didn't mean to do that. If I did, I apologize. It was definitely not on purpose. I feel like... Oh, should I? Oh, there we go. Hey, it's a new br uh, br stick brush. Brush thing, brush stick thing. It's in my hand now. Now I got a new brush! You made... A brand new brush? Yeah, a brand new brush <laughs> with the power of your perseverance. See, we were thought we were thinking before. If we destroy the brush, will a new brush show up? Uh, duh. Of course it will. What the heck? How did you? That's that's possible. I remembered how it felt, and I I guess that brought it back. But that's not the same brush. That's that's your brush. Uh, maybe for the first wielder, it was kind of the same. I, I, I knew what I wanted, how it felt, I, like a muscle I'd never known to use before. Like the muscles that exist like in the back of my head that if I move them in just such a certain way, my ears will actually move. But once I did, it was there. That's incredible. Wow. Does this mean... I could try again? I, I can face the corruption one more time. I can still make everything right. I, I can do it. Sushi Mac. You got this, man. You got it. Yeah, you can do it. Go and show him. Yeah, that's so cool. Apparently, Meepo thought that w that's always been my way of saying, hey, I'm going live since I usually go live immediately afterwards. Oh, no, that was just my morning snaps today. Yeah, you're part of my streaks. I got, I got the streaks on snap, yo. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that on purpose. Oh, well. <laughs> Besides, if you wanted to know when you're going live, you would either ring that notification bell, smash that like button, click that subscribe button, or be a part of the notification squad on the Discord server, but you don't need that. Nobody needs that. 
You don't need that. You don't need to smash that like button. You don't need to smash that subscribe bell or whatever. Just be you. Because you're awesome. And you're cool. It's, there's a it, it's a new brush tree. like Just like the one that was in the rainforest. I, I never even considered you could make another. When did you get so... I, I thought I was supposed to be the teacher. <laughs> I feel so left behind. When things got hard for me, I just gave up. But you picked back up and kept going. I should be the one looking up to you, Sushi Mac. I don't know if that's really fair to you. Uh, but you should definitely look up to me. I, I still don't really know what I'm doing. After everything we've been through, have I left the impression that I do either? If someone thinks they know what they're doing, you should honestly probably avoid them. <laughs> LOL! Nobody knows what they're doing, really. Nobody knows at all what they're doing. But we do know one thing, that if you annihilate that sub button enough, it will be reduced to atoms. And by atoms, we mean pixels. But pixels are really just like little LEDs on the inside, and there are smaller LEDs, and the LEDs are just atoms, and then the LEDs emit lights, which are photons, and they're not really atoms, but they're another quasi-particle themselves. And really, who's keeping track? When I trained to be the wielder, all I was told, and all I thought about, was that wasn't allowed or possible to, like, make a new brush. Or that if you broke the brush, then that was it. Bye-bye, brush. But you didn't fit the wielder model at all. You're someone who's changing all the rules as you go and i think it's about time they change too you got this if that huge corruption took the brush i bet it's still in there it knew we were trying, planning to destroy it so it's probably hiding consolidating its power it might not be ready to fight another brush that's the only shot we've got now you've already done a million things nobody thought was possible so i think you can do it good luck sushi mac that's so awesome. I love how, like, I got to continue talking to Chicory, like, like, dialogue after dialogue, and even still, I didn't mean to go into the house, even still, like, it's just more and more encouragement, which is super nice. It's super encouraging. I like that. Back into the eyeball tree! Down to the depths of the dungeon. This is my house? This is not my house. Whose house is this? I can... No, this is totally my house. This is totally my house. <laughs> Lol. Honestly, if you're gonna lean into the whole text talk, you gotta go. You gotta really go for it. For example, it's not just ha, lol. It's not ha, rufflecopter. It's straight up like ha, rufflecopter. Whoa, things are getting blurry. That's not just me, right? That is definitely not just me. No, that is definitely not just me. Things are getting blurry. Things are. Whoa. Okay, that's really it's messing with my eyes. I want to sit on the blurriness. Whoa, dude. Oh wait a minute. I, I see a little. I see a little circle thing back there. Or maybe that was... Is this Cardamom's place? This might have been Cardamom's place. I... Oh, hello! Hello again! It's all the eyeballs of doom! Hi. Hello again. Come closer. Yeah, get a closer look. See, you've angered Cthulhu. I've angered the wrath of every single innermost fear of everyone before me. Hey, brush! Oh my god, can I color you? Can I color you? I'll color you a bright old blue color! Because blue is a uh, 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 wait, how do I- how do I- oh, okay, I just keep walking. Just keep walking, I guess. I'll color the whole world blue! A nice light blue color! Because light blue is a really good color. My favorite color, actually, is a nice royal blue. Royal blue is probably my favorite color. It's the darker blue that you see on the overlay right now. That is one of my favorite colors. I very much like that color. Colors are a very wonderful thing. I- I get more and more obsessed with colors as the years go by. Dude, I used to think that, like, rainbows were, like, huh, gay or something like that. Dude, rainbows are for everybody. It doesn't matter what sexuality you are or who you are in life. Like, rainbows are for everybody. You want some colors? You can get some colors. The world deserves col- Oh, shit, I got hit by the white. Didn't mean to do that. Get hit by the rainbow. Don't get hit by the white. We don't need no more black and white in this life. Okay, so avoid, avoid the white color. Avoid the white color. Nope, D d dodge the brush. Dodge the brush, you want colors? We got colors, you want rainbow? 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 We got rainbow, 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 rainbow. Yeah, we got that, absolutely. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can feel all the pressure because we're fighting a boss battle. <laughs> and I have to keep thinking. If I don't keep thinking and I don't keep speaking, then I will lose my focus, obviously. Don't, don't hit the brush. Uh-oh. Oh, where's the swirls? I knew I saw swirls before. Where'd those swirls go? I know I saw swirls before. There's the swirls! I saw that. Oh dear. Don't get hit by the swirls. 
Oh, don't find us doing that. <laughs> I don't know if this is like final boss or maybe there's a final final boss or something like that, but we're definitely close enough to the end where honestly, it would it even matter? This is enjoyable. I'm enjoying this. Oh, okay. Break time? Break time? Hi, you. Yes. It's me and my yes hat. Look, it's me and my yes hat. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. I've been avoiding stuff this entire time. Oh, don't. Don't hit myself. Oh, maybe I have to brush myself? No, okay. There we go. I don't want to hit the mirror side of the brush. Oh, there's poopy on the ground. That was a little, um, that was a little poop sticker. Oh, those are all the different stickers I bet I could have, uh, been collecting this entire time with the brush. Is this helping? Am I doing anything? Am I doing like I did in, like, anybody ever played Luigi's Mansion? And, like, in the tutorial round, you would just kind of keep flashing the ghosts with the light and never sucking them up? Like, this is kind of what that feels like right now. I have no idea if I'm making any progress at all. Uh, maybe, should I be coloring my... Oh, you know what? Look at that. Yep, there we go. I was supposed to be coloring myself. I need to hit them with the white. There we go. There we go. I should have been doing that. See, it was exactly that scenario that I was just describing. Where, like, you keep hitting the ghost with the lamps, or with the, with the lights, and then, like, nothing happens. Okay, now the white's over there now. So I gotta go to the opposite side. There we go. There we go. Eventually, I figured things out. It's tough to, like, move on one side of the screen and have to pay attention to the other side. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello! Um, okay. So what do I do now? Don't get hit by the brush? Oh, wait. What is... Okay, so now you're mirroring my thing. Oh, my God. What? Okay, okay. No, now I gotta hit you with the blue... With the white. There we go. Yeah! Color yourself! It was a very vague reference. It took you a little bit to recollect. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, it's a, it's a game. I like that game. Oh, it's okay. So avoid myself on the brush. Avoid the yes brush. Here comes the yes train. Are you all aboard the station? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, don't get hit by that. Okay, now I need to hit with the white and the brush. Okay, just get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I don't like reverse controls. They make me not so happy. Hi, Chicory. What's up? What's up, dude? Oh my God, there you go. Oh, there it is. The wrath of the one before me. Maybe I get to fight all of the wielders who came before. Oh, what is what is going on here? Oh, hello. Hello. Chicory was such a wonderful little wielder. Oh, well, not a little wielder. I'm the little wielder. Chicory is much larger than I am. Oh, avoid the brush. I don't like that. Ah, I've gotten caught. Oh, get out of there. Get get out. No, don't stop that. I, I can't. Oh my God, can I? Chicory? Is that a young Chicory? Sushi Mac. I owe you a pretty big thank you. Because after seeing you make one of those, I realized I could too. Oh my god, that's so cool! Turns out, there's a lot that I can do. That I didn't think possible. Well, pow! The power of the brush! We've all got a brush! I'm tired of feeling afraid and useless. I'm here for you this time. Let's take this thing down. Together. And I bet, I wonder, will the other wielders come by too? Oh my god, that'd be so cool if the other wielders come up too and they have their own brush. That'd be so freaking cool! This is definitely not a plot point that I saw coming. Okay, don't, 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 don't hit the, uh, I need to not hit, I need to hit evil chicory. Evil chicory shadow. The shadow of chicory. Not the bad chicory. Oh, you got me. Oh, you got me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We, we all get each other sometimes. Don't, don't hone in for a shot. Nope, don't hone in for a shot. I gotta hit somebody. I don't have a mirror white mark like I did last time. Maybe I need to, like... Yeah, no, Chicory... Ah, ha, ha. Chicory's gonna slack him, and then I'm gonna hit them with the blue. That's that's good. Oh, Chicory's gonna bring me back! That was awesome! Thank you, Chicory. I really appreciate that. The power of what we can do as a team. Togetherness for all. Oh, that's the wrong Chicory to be smacking whacking. I know, I'm gonna hit that other chick, uh, Chicory. Oh, there we go. Whoa, okay. Okay, all right, that's fine. Uh, and then I get you in there like that and hit you back and forth with the, with the blue power. Do you get hit with the fuchsia or the blue? It's Blackberry! It's the wielder before Chicory! With Blackberry powers, activate! Remember when Blackberries were a type of phone? I, I, I say that I really don't remember because I never actually had a Blackberry and that was before my time of actually having a smartphone. Those were the days, I guess. This is kind of like a, like a flashback to all the different bosses that I fought before. Uh, at least the last couple been cool this is cool i like this i wonder if blackberry is gonna join the fray too Doo -doo -doo. it's cool too because the music is actually reminiscent of the past battles as well 
Oh, I got you. Oh my god. No, no, I gotta get Chicory out of there. You did this to me, so I can help you out too. Get out of there. No, don't grab my friend. Never grab my friend. Oh, shit, got whacked. Don't want to get whacked like that. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. No, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Just ignore the straight lines. Ah! Hi there. Oh, God. I am I am very much hurting right now. Apparently. Very much hurting. Oh, my God. This is hell on my thumb. The joystick... my The thumb that is on the rightmost joystick is not very happy right now. Oh, there we go. Get back, evil blackberry. Evil blackberry is the no good blackberry. Oh, gee, we go. Dodge the squares. Hide inside of the dark rhombusai. Is it rhombuses or rhombi? I genuinely don't know. I never learned that in geometry class. Technically, that would have been the the, I guess the uh, the midway point between English class and ge um and geometry. Shit! I got hit. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Just just go on back. This game is very forgiving. It's a very forgiving game. Don't you worry. The boss battles are very, very... Oh, I went right into that. Okay. 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 Getting tough. Getting tough. A little bit difficult. A little bit difficult. But nothing that we can't do together with the power of friendship and paint and definitely not paint thinner. There's no paint thinner around here. Cardamom, hi! The guy before. There was a... I, don't, I only knew only one of those other ones. It's all the wielders. What's it... What's it doing? I think it's reverting all the way back to its original form. It's gonna come at us. With every wheel they threw all of history. No big deal. Right? Totally not a big deal. If you believe in me, Chicory, well, even if you don't, even if you don't, I think we can do it. Oh dear. It's a little sapling. It's, it's a claw. It's a tree. It's a tree. It's a tree. It's an evil, evil tree. This music is so kick-ass! The brush in its original form! Its most powerful primal form! Fire! The fiery rainbow of paint and power and... I don't know, honestly. Oh, hi, Cardamom. I only know the names of a few of the wielders, and that's a... Whoa, okay! It hurt me with color. Perhaps a color. The color was supposed to be a plague upon this world. But we made it our own. We'll make it use us. It'll be our destiny. That was really cool, actually. I like those strokes. Those are some hot strokes. Whoa, what is that? Okay, just kidding. Uh, leaves from the, from the sky. Just keep on hitting. Keep on hitting. Is it weird that I'm also getting, like, Undertale vibes from this? Like, Omega Flowey vibes? I, I don't know. It just, it just hits me that way. Like, a very abstract, like, abstract, yet primordial evil. I guess that's not really flowy or anything like that. He's just straight up fucking evil. Fire of creation. We made the fire. Fire the primal signal. It's, it's uh, simple. It's our imagination. Come rot wild. It's our imagination. Come alive. With the power of an imagination, anything's possible. That and with the power of popsicle, also anything's possible. Oh, wait. This must be cardamom. This must be the way cardamom drew uh, and made party. Uh, made painting. Made painting. Not made party. I mean, this is a party. It's always a party. Do people talk this much at parties? I've never really talked this much at parties, to be perfectly honest. I'll admit that. I'm usually the guy who stands in the corner and just like... <laughs> the world is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. Oh, more of those drawing pa- Whoops! Hello! <laughs> Hello! Come on down now, Brush. Come on down, Brush. You don't need it. You don't need it. Not like this, you don't. Oh, I got whacked. Didn't mean to be whacked like that. Oh, there's also leaves falling from the sky. There we go. All I need to... Oh, I got whacked! Darn it! Let's make like a tree and leave. Oh, Chicory saved me. And the little, uh, the thing is still up there. Oh, wait. Uh, I think that actually glitched a little bit. Interesting. So the fire of the brush is still being held up by that. Uh, but that thing not. All right. I think I found a little visual glitch, but that's okay. All our glitches are, uh, all of our glitches are happy. Happy, happy glitches. We watched Wreck-It Ralph. Glitches are okay. Oh, didn't want to be there. I don't want to be there. There we go. Ah! Don't get hit by the leaves. Nope, don't touch. Don't touch like this. No, 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 no. Don't touch like that. Don't get hit by the flowers. Oh, okay, I got hit by the flowers. It's okay, but Chicory saved me back to life. What a party. 
What a bop! Yeah, that thing is still there. It's hidden in the center. So, oh, okay. Don't hit the leaves. Don't hit the, the little branches. If I don't hit the branches, I'm okay when that flower thing goes out like that. That's fine. Oh, there we go. A little abstract. A little fine. It's okay. Ah! All right. Keep on going. Yeah, go ahead. You can keep going. Oh, jeez. It's hard to tell which color is mine and which color is the enemy. Oh, dear. No. Oh, that's not. Woo! There we go. That was close. Oh, I see the little... No, I hit the thing again. Damn. Want to increase my max hits? This could be changed any time in the option. No, no, no. Never ask me again. Never ask me again. That's pretty cool that there's a there's a set of configuration options for stuff like that. That's very cool. I didn't know that before. Very good. Very cool. Very cool. And apparently very legal. Oh, dear. There we go. <laughs> hey -o, more color. Coming up from before. There we go. Not bad at all. Maybe the goal of this is for me to just pay attention to not getting whacked in the face or any part of my body for that matter. Chickory's trying. Oh, Chickory's trying. Woo! There we go. Chickory sure is trying. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's good. That's good. That's very good. Now nah, keep on whacking. Very good. Yes! Yes! Explode brush! Primal fire boom of colors and gradients and rainbows and... Did we do it? Was that it? It's unleashing all of its color to the world. I think... I think that might have been it. That was pretty cool. What's my heart rate at? Only 66? Really? Was I faking it the whole time? Jeez. I, not even I realized that apparently... Apparently I must have been faking it. Otherwise, my heart rate would be much higher. Oh, credits time! And now it's going to rain down upon the world. Rainbows. All of the evil trees are turning to good trees. Very good trees. Oh, that is lovely. With the help of our lead artist, you. You're our lead artist. Just kidding. I was the lead artist this time, but you could be the lead artist. Yes, you can. Man, that was cool. The music's giving me all that frisson, French word, for the skingasm. You know, when you're listening to something, and it makes you feel real good, and it makes your skin crawl? That's what I feel. It's called frisson. F-R-I-S-S-O-N. It's a French word, apparently. <sighs> Can't believe we actually did it. The brush is... gone. Forever. Is it, though? Um... Now that we've actually done it, do you think it's... okay? This seems like kind of a big deal. That thing wasn't so special. If we both made new brushes then, I bet anyone can. Just gotta teach them. Color could be free. Whatever happens next is good. But it's not going to be easy to teach. I barely even knew how I grew a brush myself. I can help you! But maybe not right now. I need a break. I hear that. Let's just enjoy this for today. And tomorrow, we change everything. That was so cute! I'm pretty sure there's an epilogue too, so I don't think this is over just yet. That was so nice! Oh my god! This game... ...covered a couple of different things. Honestly. Oh my god, it's actually showing- this is- I painted this area. It has an entire record of what- how I painted this area. And how it changed. That is so cool. That is exactly how I painted it, and in that order. That's really cool. Yeah, you know, this game covered a lot of really cool topics there, honestly. It's kind of like... So, I guess, like, the, the whole... The kind of what this game kind of went over was, like, kind of coming to terms with, like, your inner self, and uh, they definitely covered some anxiety and stuff there, and depression, and feeling like almost... I, I feel like the biggest thing for Chicory was, like, imposter syndrome. Feeling like... I shouldn't be in this position. Like, I'm in this position now, but I shouldn't be. It should be somebody else more capable than me because I don't deserve it. And <laughs> for better or for worse, I totally vibe with all of that. 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It, it kind of like you kind of get to a certain position and you're like, do I deserve to be here? Do I deserve to be who I am? Is everything going okay? Like, is the pressure really worth it and all that stuff? And my mind's a little jumbled right now. So it's not like I'm talking onto this very particularly and in any particular order or very well for that matter. But if any of those words hit home, which I'm sure a couple of them do, good. I would highly recommend. Kind of makes you feel. It kind of makes you feel. It's all. It's all up here. And sometimes it's all the way over here. Like whether your mind is in here or where your mind's out here, two completely different things. But sometimes one and the same. Crazy thing like that. I really like this game. I like this game because of the music. I like the gameplay. The controls were very nice. It felt very nice to be able to kind of paint things around. You know, it's actually funny. I actually painted something the other day. I felt down enough to actually paint something. I was feeling like really, really in here. When I feel really, really in here, really, really cerebral, I wound up wanting to put it out somehow. Whether it be in a drawing, whether it be on a canvas, whether it be in words, I suppose. I don't do, could do good with the words, honestly, sometimes. Maybe it seems like I do good with the words. It's just rambling. It's just rambling. I, I, all I do is randomble all the time. But it's pleasant. It gets it out of my system. Out of my system. Out of there. Into the wind. Take that edge off. It's all good. Oh. This has been lovely, though. Absolutely lovely. I, I've been, I think the most time that I've spent on this game has probably been listening to the music outside of the game. Because I think, let's see, this, I think there was only about maybe a few... Eight-ish hours total of stream on this game? Maybe more? I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. It was a very, very enjoyable adventure. We learned a bit about ourselves. We learned a little bit about each other. We learned that people are a whole hell of a lot more complex than just what they appear to be on the outside. Just because you look like you're doing okay, just because you were up on that high horse, like fame and notoriety or whatever, doesn't mean that you're doing okay on the inside. It's always good to ask. Ask and see what's going on in somebody's head. For all you know, there could be a fire burning in somebody's head. And it's slowly but surely burning away at them. I mean, a simple question couldn't hurt, could it? How you doing? You doing all right? Hey, just thinking of you. The other day, actually, I reached out to somebody uh, just out of the blue because I was curious about how they were doing. But they had recollected, like, a, a few messages in, uh, I was, you know, they had asked me, that, you know, like, by the way, like, you know, you reached out out of the blue, so there must be a reason for it. Like, what is it that you... Anyway, like, enough about me. Like, what did you want? And that was, I think, the like, the first... One of the first times that I just kind of was able to sit there and be like, no, nah, I... Like, I didn't really reach out for anything in particular. I was genuinely curious about what was going on. And honestly, it seems so simple and so easy. Or, or so, like, nah, but I shouldn't. It's whatever. They, they don't want to hear from me. But it might, it, people may appreciate it. They may totally appreciate that. Hell, if somebody that I hadn't talked to in six to seven years reached out to me tomorrow and said, Hey, what's up? I'd respond. Unceded territories of Squamish that we acknowledge and thank you for caring for the lands and water since before our time. Oh, that's so cool. A little thing there for about the untainted lands or something like that. Anyway, back to the game. Reach out to a friend today who you hadn't to in a long time. They may appreciate it. Oh, look, it's me building up the... Oh, it's the it's in the order in which I discovered the map. That's pretty cool. And how I painted it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like that. I get to see how the, the, the world was painted throughout all of this all. And then my little, my little cluster mess in the very middle. My little spagooters in the noodle. I see spaghetti in the middle. I can see uh, a heart candy up in the top left of the screen. I can see... Um, honestly, I can't really make it any other shapes aside from, like, there's a triangle on the left. That's cool. 79.92%, and apparently I spent 12 hours on this game. Alright, that was how many hours? 12 hours well spent, let me tell you. That was really good. Want to save a GIF? <laughs> yeah, I'll save that shit. Oh, okay, I gotta put it on... Uh, there we go. There we go. Back to back to the game. Thanks for playing. Oh, was that totally it? Was that absolutely it? Can can I continue? May I may I continue? Can I is there more? Is there an epilogue? End of an era. Achievement unlocked. 
This stuff is perfect. We could use it for art classes for a while. I totally forgot the tower was already stocked with supplies. Hadn't used the studio in so long. Did a good job keeping the dust away, though. Told you I was a good janitor. The only thing left for me to do is finally move out of here. Traditionally, the wielder lives in the tower, but there's no such thing as a wielder anymore, right? So we'll transform the tower into a community space. Just gotta figure out where to move to. You've been all over Picnic, right? Think you could help me pick a new place to live? Yeah, I could totally do that. Whew, thanks. I've been in decision paralysis this entire time. I need someone who can just tell me where to go. Dude, I didn't even know that was a thing. Decision paralysis. I got chicory flag. I'll stash that in your decor menu. If you find a place that seems good, put it there and let me know. Okay, uh, I'll start packing up my room. I'm sure you've got plenty to do. See you around, okay? Yeah, all right. Okie dokie. Wielder tower. That's cool. Where's the picture of me? Where is my picture? There should be a picture of me in here because I am one of the wielders. Look, it's me. It's my self-portrait of me. There's Chicory, there's Blackberry, there's Cardamom's of himself, I guess. That's such a cute picture. Can I go in here? Hey, Chicory. What's up, dude? I'm all packed up. But you know, before I move out of here, I think we should redecorate this room, don't you? It could be a community workspace. Anyone could come to work on their own things. That'd be pretty neat. Do you have any decor you could use for that? Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Um... What if I just put Chicory's flag here? Like, Chicory, I don't want you to go. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Let's see about... Do I have, like, a section for art stuff? Here's a bookcase. Bookcases belong in here. Yeah, that's good. Maybe I got, a, like, a, like an easel somewhere? Oh, okay. Blank canvas. That's good. A still life. People can paint fruit, I guess, when they learn how to paint. We've got some uh, paint tubes. That's a really heaping paint tube. Damn. That is a really big paint tube. Will we ever need that much paint? W will the paint even come out as a color? I don't think they'll even come out as a color. Oh, there we go. Empty easel. Put an easel there. Let's put a landscape easel here. And, um, I know this is a paint bucket, but it kind of looks like shampoo. Like, little shampoo in the corner so you can wash your hair while you paint. Just wash them while you work. And then, uh, uh... A supply shelf. You can always use more supply shelves. Here, put it... Right, there we go. I like that. How do you feel about that, chickster? Make the whole room blue. I forgot I could paint again. Completely forgot about that. And green. Yeah! Nice and green. And chicory's a nice light blue. I like that color. And chicory, you look... Mwah, you look very good. To make this a de decent workspace, I think a lot of seating is essential. Plus wall decorations and plants to make it feel nice. And maybe a couple other random things? I'll let you figure it out. Oh my god. Okay, so you want you want plants too. Okay. Uh, so we need more seats. Seats! Needs more and more seats. Do I have any seats left? I don't know if I have any. I have no seats left. Well, you know what? It's mine now. There we go. I've taken the seat back. Wherever it was previously in the world, it is no longer there. More seats. Seats to sit on, naturally, when you are painting your thing. Painting your next masterpiece. Uh, we need wall decorations, so uh, let's put... Oh, it looks so beautiful! I forgot Chicory painted that. Let's have one of Chicory. Let's have one of my parents. And the... No, that's a little too big for the wall. How about heart lamp? Heart? Nope, too big for the wall. How about this grub hanger? Nope, also too large. A poster? On the wall, how it kind of looks like, kind of looks like a wall outlet. To be perfectly honest, uh, dying art. I'll show you dying art. Yeah, that's on the wall now. Behind, does it say dying? Oh, drying art. Excuse me, <laughs> not dying art. D art isn't dead. God's dead. Art is dead. We killed him. Just kidding. Uh, let's get some flowers in here. There's some flowers. Um, you want, um, want a little seedling? A little seedling. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. These really aren't indoor plants, but we're going to make it work anyway. Um, I don't even know what this is. A buggy pile? Yeah. We'll have some buggy piles in here. Right smack in the middle. And, uh, and a big old rock. Raku. All right. Now we got plenty of them. Now they need color. 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 
color for your workspace. The new community workspace. And hopefully the community comes by and uh, repaints it to their own liking because this is might be a little much. All right, Chickster. Ah! Yes! This is it! The vibe here is way better now. Thanks, Sushi Mac. Uh, let me know if you can find a place I should move to. I spent so much time in here feeling frozen and scared. It's going to feel good to be finally somewhere else. If you do find a good spot for my new house, put my flag there from your decor menu and then come let me know. Okay, so I think, personally, Chicory, you should live right next to me. Personally, I think Chicory should live right next to me. Otherwise, I'll miss her too much, you know? Uh, but is there any space? How about right here? This is where Chickory's house will go. Hello, Chicory. I have determined that you will live right next door to me. Oh, you picked out where my new place should be? So you think I should live in luncheon? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good to me. Well, uh, being anywhere else sounds good right now. I'm excited to see the spot you picked. I'll head there straight away and set up. Come visit me sometime. I'm gonna visit you right now. I'm gonna go and visit you right now. Oh, so it seems that uh, I managed to uh, create my own brush again. Uh, I, clearly, I just realized I had the wielder brush back, so I must have. It's Chicory House! Oh, it's so beautiful in here. And there's my little art! Oh my god, that's so nice! That is so nice! And apparently, Chicory was able to, I like, guess, make her own brush again, because, like... She painted. That is so cool! What's up, Chickster? Well, it looks like we're neighbors now. Yes. It's definitely not the same as living in, in a tower, but I think it suits me better. Feels good to finally be somewhere new. I think this could be a fresh start for me. We're gonna have to put serious thought in how we teach people to grow brushes. In the moment, it seemed to make so much sense, but how do you teach that to someone? Maybe we'll have to lend our brushes around. I'm excited to use my new brush some more. You like how I did my place up? <laughs> but I haven't done much else since that final battle. It feels strange since you've already got colors everywhere. Almost don't want to mess with it, you know? No, please, mess with it. We've got a lot of work to do. Especially on myself. Never discredit personal development. Working on yourself is totally okay. That's pretty much what I've been doing. And although I still more or less feel like a failure, very often, things are getting better. Things will always get better. I really want to be better. But I think what I need is to accept myself when I'm not better, that is. That's... Eh, I still don't really know how to do that. But I'm gonna try. Well, I'm sure I'll be seeing a lot of you. It's scary to step into a new multi-brush world. But I feel like with you, I can do it. That's corny, isn't it? But I mean it. When this all started, just getting out of the bed felt impossible to me. We've done a lot of impossible things together. So impossible doesn't mean much to me anymore. Thanks for being there when I needed you. Welcome, Chicory. So like, what else do I do now? Is that really it? I actually need to figure out what comes next, if there is anything. Chicory uh, chapters. There we go. I gotta figure out what comes next. Cause like, if there's no more like story stuff to it, I think I'll probably just leave it there and maybe move to something else for the day. It's not even twelve o'clock yet. Yeah, it's not even twelve o'clock yet. There's still so much more that I could do. I'll go stop by my buddy Beans, my buddy Beans down there, and um, see if I can get more decoration stuff while I figure shit out on my own side. Uh, la 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 la. Epilogue. Epilogue. 
Post game, post game start, credits the end. Post game start? What do I do? What does that mean? Post game? Art show. What is art show? Chicory? Uh, and art show? Art show? Do I have to go there? That? Wow, I didn't spell any of that right. Chicory, last chapters. Am I missing something here? I don't have a clear goal of where I need to go ne next, so I'm a little confuzzled. So let's get on through here. Put that out. Bum, bum, ba, da, da, da. Oh, that came out nicely. Nice little, nice little color gradient there. Can I come in from the other side too? Nice. I like that. Sips River. What was I doing down here? Oh, I was meaning to say hello to beans. Did I not say hello to beans? I didn't say hello to beans. I wanted to say hello to beans. Where's beans? Oh, beans. There you are, beans. I want the spooky set. Hey, I moved more stuff out for the kids. Did you want to take that spooky set? Yes. Thank you. I got a spooky set. All right, I'll be wait watching the kids inside. If you find four more, I'll move more stuff out. Okay. Okie dokie. Tell me more. Tell me more. Where is the thing? Ah. Figuring stuff out. Serious decorator achievement unlocked. Oh my god, all these achievements. It's great. It's wonderful, wonderful. Uh, la 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 la. Is there actually a thing on this? Create this page by selecting... Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I try to look at IGN to tell myself where to go next, and it says, Oh, here's the last chapter. I click on the last chapter. Like, there's no page created for this yet. Like, oh, okay then, fine. I guess if you don't know what to do next, neither do I. Maybe, you know what? The last thing I'll do is I will head home. I'll head home to see my parents. Because my parents are out here somewhere. They're living over in, um, uh, Potluck or something? Me thinks? Me think that's where my parents live? I like that. I'll go say hello to them. Paint my way along the way. That'll work. There we go. Such peacefulness. Such peacefulness today. Oh, look, trash! I love trash. Potluck. Where my dad? Where my dad at? Oh, this ain't my dad. Everybody else is hanging here, though. But where my dad at? Where my dad's at? House. Where be my dad? I believe this is my parents' house. This is my parents' house. Hi, Mom! Sushi Mac. I heard you'd grown a new brush, but I almost didn't believe it. Who knew you were such a special person? Well, I did. But I, I think you've shown the world now, too. I always believed in you. We were outside when colors started falling from the sky. It was so beautiful. Where did that all come from? I guess it was from the old brush exploding? Wow. That's grim, but it was beautiful. There's a lot of talk about how things will change. You've got the whole art academy worried and excited. It makes me proud to know that's my kid out there. Disrupting the order of society with magical brush powers. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Well, half kidding. I really am proud of you. I know it took a long time, but I'm glad you found something that makes you happy. That doesn't come easy. It certainly never did for me. Now we just have to worry about your sister. Good luck with everything, Sushi Mac. Come visit anytime you like, and don't be afraid to call either. What about you, Dad? Way to go, kiddo. I, um... Well, I always knew you were a great kid. But what you did with the brush, it's pretty pretty heroic, you know? Didn't know my kid was so cool. It's enough to make a guy tear up. So, uh, like, um, what's the deal with you and Chicory anyway? Is she your girlfriend now or something? Dad! <laughs> okay, okay. I, I know when to shut up, honestly. Whatever you set your mind to, I know you can do it. You're going to be a cool brush wielder. Teach everyone how to grow their own brush. I know you'll be good at that, too. I'm proud of you for uh, finding your own path. Just don't forget about us when you're famous. Oh, thanks, Dad. I guess I'll go say hello to Clementine, too. He's in the art center. Supposedly the last potential part of the game might have been an art show. So I figure that they'll probably be at the, at the art museum place. Oh, I can't actually talk to Clementine. Or, or you either, whose name escapes me. Quinoa? Can I join us for an art class? One last art class. Ahem, take your places, everyone. One last art class. 
Welcome back, Sushi Mac. I'm so glad you could join us for another class. We're all thrilled. Take a look at this classic painting. A classic. <coughs> Excuse me. Here in the garden by Quindam. I want you to recreate it and perhaps adapt it to your own style. Get to it. Oh! I am going to do a very abstract version of this piece by Quindam. First, we'll start with a triangle, and then another triangle, and then circle, and then circle. But not a complete circle. If we complete the whole circle, it doesn't look like they have pupils. We're going to switch our colors a little bit to something a little more cool and collected. Um, their head is a square, so we are going to draw a square, just like this. There's a lot more cur pups around the chin. We're going to go back to our green color. We're going to do more circles. More circles. More circles. That's six circles total. And they're kind of like half circles. And one of them kind of looks like a spike wanting to kill us. But no. No, no. Keep it chill. There's also a big circle down here. That's their body. This is their body. On their body, they also have a sleeve, which will be another triangle. And then an, an additional arm, uh, which will be, as we know, a square. More like a rectangle. It's kind of squalular, kind of rectangular. Let's continue with the other square that we have over here for the other hand. And uh, watering can. See, what you don't realize is that watering cans actually don't have any particular shape. So this is just going to gotta be a bunch of scribbles. Because, as we know, watering cans don't exist. They're fake. This is, um, the artist took liberties attempting to bring new concepts into this world around us. The concept being the watering can. Why would you need a watering can? What even is a watering can? A can that waters? Waters what? Who cares? Anyway, that's our watering can. And uh, we need to give them a nice little nose. A little square nose. And, um, incomplete face triangle for the mouth. I noticed that we also forgot the pocket as well. And because pockets don't exist, actually, we're going to give it a couple of scribbles there too. Little scribbles. There we go. I now present my most recent creation. Observe. And that's it. That's it for the beauty of art, expression, and inner turmoil. All right. Brush is down. Let's see how he did. Ah. Uh, that what it looks like to you? It's like we're right there in the garden. Hello, Mr. Farmer. The essential essence is here. The gap along the top is interesting. Your spearing, sparing use of dark purple brown is pleasing. There are a lot of shapes to appreciate. It's really interesting, Sushima. I wouldn't have thought to take it that way. Thank you, Clementine, dear sister. Okay, that's it for now. Your piece will be in the Eleven Seas Master Gallery, Sushi Mac. The curator will be very excited to see it. You should all pay the Eleven Seas Gallery a visit sometime and keep practicing. Can I talk to you now? I still can't talk to Clementine now. That feels odd. Oh, I put a bunch of heart stuff in here. That's cool. Nice. Well, I believe that's pretty much it for Chicory, y'all. That, uh... That's really all I got for the Chickster. This is a, this is an absolutely lovely game. I thoroughly enjoyed the music that came along with it. Trying to figure out the messages that come forth and seeing how they uh, connect to my own personal life. It's been a tough time so far. But we've all got a tough sometime. So we'll be out of it eventually. At the other end. Um, yeah. I think art expression is a wonderful way to kind of come to terms with your own feelings. So if you're ever feeling down, I don't know, grab a pencil. Draw a picture. Grab a paintbrush. Draw a picture. Do that. That'd be lovely, lovely, lovely thing. Um, I was thinking about maybe streaming something else today, but honestly, I kind of got some work to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to work on that, actually, so that I am less stressed out for the week ahead. I'm stressed out right now. Can you not tell? I'm a little anxious about things. So we're going to do the things, check off some things on my list of things to do, and we'll be back at it again. On Thursday evening, uh, it'll be a big gap until then, but that's okay. You know what? 
I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Thank you all for enjoying this game with me. It's been, it's been really nice. It's been really, really good so far. And I really appreciate you all coming along and being with me. So with the power of the brushes in our hands, that's where we're going to end it. I don't know why it took me so long to get to this point with the brush in my mouth. But lovely times. Good times. Good vibes in the morning. It's not even 12 o'clock p.m. yet. Eastern Standard Time. Do something with your day. Go out for a walk. I'll go out for a walk. That should be good. Be good for my psyche to go out for a walk. Listen to a... Maybe, maybe uh, have some breakfast. If you haven't already done so. Grab some lunch. Grab some brunch. Go out for brunch. Call your parents. Text your friend. Or do anything like that. Good vibes, my friends. Party on. Until next time. Thank you all so much. Once again. Looking forward to the next one. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your afternoon if you're there. Morning. And whatnot. Peace out, y'all. It's been fun. See you on Thursday.